First of all, my heartly millions and millions of Dandar Pushpanjali in the lotus feet of my spiritual master, Nitya Lila Pravish Tom Vishnu Bhat, Shri Shmad Bhakti, Pragyan Kiso Vrishtami Maharaj. And same in the lotus feet of my Shikshya Guru, Nitya Lila Pravish Tom Vishnu Bhat, Shri Shmad Bhakti, Vedan Swami Maharaj. Satan and Duryodhan all finished. Pandava party also finished. Only Krishna, five Pandavas. No one else. And in Pandava side, three more. After this, Brahma came to Krishna, with Shankar, with all the daily gods, with Sanat Sanandana Sanat Kumar, all. And they came to see Krishna in Dwarka Puri. And they, after taking Darshan, they thought our life is successful now by taking the darshan of Krishna. So they began to do stall and stuti, glories of Krishna. When finished, then again Brahma told, Prabhu, you are Lord of Lord. 
You are all powerful. You are independent, but whole world, all are dependent. At first we pray you to take the burden of earth. And that is now finished. Being in Vrindavan, Putana, Agasur, Bakasur, Trinagar, Saktasur, Vyamasur, oh, so many, Keshi, Sankhachuga, all bad things. In Mathura, you finished, you killed Kans or his associates. And in Dvarkapuri, from there, Sisupal, Dantapatra, Kaljavan, and so many things. And in the end, you finished through Bhim and Arjun. All the German kings of both sides. Now, burden is taken. We pray that you should return back to your Dham Vrindavan Dham. Please, at the time of coming, you should give your darshan in my Brahmalo. Krishna told, Oh, I know, I know, I remember all these things. Everything is finished, but something is remaining. All the Jagvansi said by my arm, they are very, very powerful. Even demigods cannot do anything. So after being, they can do something wrong. So, very soon I will finish the finishing of Jadubhan's dynasty has begun and very soon I will come. And then, Krishna inspired something. Narudrishi, Kapil, Gautam, Durbasa, so many races, they came to Dvarka, took darshan of Krishna and satisfied. And they went to some Prabhastis eh? on ocean, where Somnath temple is there, and began to, to tell glories of Krishna. In the meantime, the princess of Jadubansi, Sam and all Rajkumar, Rajkumar, one princess, prince, all princes, they came to the Rishi. Sambhava, son of Krishna, that beautiful. So they decorated her with him like a very young lady and put some cloth and India for Tava for frying pan to make chapati for chapati water. that is water. Um, iron hmm? put on them that it seems that she is pregnant, pregnant. the men to receive they wanted to cheat them. They told, oh, this is mercy. 
you know past present and future please tell this lady is very shy so son will come or daughter will come again 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 that well telling then durbasa was there he became very curious oh you have to you have come all to cheat me and all the rishi and if they don't know anything oh no son no daughter she will get give a part of it oh musa musa you know the club wooden and in the end i am in india is still going on for paddy or asking the grain grain oh the bacon fear at once they then for away from there and they opened and saw oh really a musa was there and they at once went to ugrasen maharaj not to krishna ugrasen who was the king of that dynasty and told all these things oh then ugrasen told oh you have done so much wrong thing blunder mistake why you went to rishi to upahas joke with them to joke with them now our dynasty will be finished because the rishi has told oh this move by this motion your dynasty will be finished so he they get that motion to him and he burnt that wooden part and iron part he ran Made dust like grinding like powder. Dust, but he still little bit was remained. Some iron part, three angle angles remained. Was left. It could not be Crushed. dust. And then he ordered anyone take it all these things, the dust, dust of musal, and also. Iron dust and that piece left iron and give it to Osan. They gave it to Osan, but Osan didn't want to take anything. By his wealth, all came to show, and very soon they became crosses, very sharp, sharp lips, and very poor. and one fish uh, so took that re- remnant of that fire but she was caught by any fisherman and then he saw that in the in the stomach of that fish is that he took it he ate the meat and fish and took it and put it on the arrow, arrow of um, on the top of arrow arrow like that now in vardapuri so much aspiration things were going on without any cloud blood coming from clouds elephant dogs they began to be dogs especially began to be oh so many things then krishna to no we are seeing so auspicious you know he called all the jalbansi and told just now we should give up this place and we should go to 
and speak something about Bhakti. Fruit of 
will liberate from this world and it may be Krishna. And Krishna prays, so no need of doing. And then, what the feet of Narutrishi took his water on bread and everywhere, and then Narutrishi went, sat very easily, then folded his hand. O oh, Prabhu, we are the Hastha. Householder. We are householder. Always thinking in Visha, thinking of Visha, of children, wealth, other things, sin. So, I think you have come only to liberate us from this world. So, please tell. Uh, that how our Hamdukon ka nitya kalyan hoga. What is the eternal benefit for us? What is the benefit, eternal benefit for us? Uh, how our eternal benefit will be achieved? Welfare we will then. The Narad Rishi became very happy. Oh. You know, there are no Yogendra. They never die. From beginning, they are out of Varnasam Dharma, Paramahansa. And they know all kinds of Tattva. And they are Param Bhagavad. They came to Nani Maharaj. Nani Maharaj also. Very tattvagya, very, he knew all tattva. He also asked that question, Oh, you Jogeshwar, tell me, Bhagavad Dharma, what is Bhagavad Dharma? I heard Bhagavad Dharma. Well, we may, but I want to. I heard that by Bhagavad Dharma, anyone can be liberated very soon and Krishna Prem will come. Please tell me. Then one of the no Yogendra, his name was Kavi, he began to answer. Oh, Vali sent him repeated Shavai Kunsan Paro Dharmo Jato Bhakti Rado Khaji. The Bhakti of Supreme Lord Bhagavan. By this, all kinds of Kalyan, welfare, worthy and transcendental. Very easily it will come. Bhagavatam told by Bhagavan himself. Himself, by Krishna has told. Those who will follow this dharma, Bhagavatam told by Krishna, if closing their eyes, they will run on this path. Bhagavad Dharma path, they can fall down. What means? If they are following this Bhagavad Dharma, by the bhakti, and after that Raganuga, in Raganuga, the devotees, when they come in Thaumar, oh, they don't do archa. Also that don't meditate, Dwarka queens, they don't take kush and other things. Worldly all, a 
activities. Only they do for Krishna to please our Krishna. If they gallop, they don't do arsan or dhyana of Rukmini Sattvama. If running very fast, Mani Bhavati, Radha Nuga, they don't deviate from the deficit from that part. When these days are Dvati Ara Vinavi Satasya, Isha Kapitasya Vipadya Vosmati. Oh, you. Define this. So in this verse, which is a very often quoted verse by our Gaudiya Vaishnava charges, the condition of illusion is explained. Why all of us, conditioned souls in this material world, why we have become overwhelmed by this powerful illusion of Maya in which we are thinking that I am this temporary material body 
and everything belonging to this temporary material body is mine. This is the illusion caused by Maya. So, Mayam Jutika Abhini Dei Shatasya Ishad Abhetasya Viparika Yo Ashmiti. The problem of the conditioned soul is called forgetfulness. Ashmiti. He has forgotten. He has turned away from his eternal relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, forgetting that actually he is the eternal servant of the Supreme Lord. And in that pure condition, he is able to understand at every moment that the Supreme Lord is the Supreme Atvai Gyan Paratatva. That means he is the non-dual Supreme Truth and Reality, and there is nothing else existing besides him. But in this material world, the living entities have become absorbed in duality, meaning that they are in illusion thinking that they are separate from Krishna, from Bhagavan. And they are thinking that they have an independent life, an independent existence from Him. Therefore they become absorbed in this temporary illusory, illusory world of family attachment and so forth, and they forget their real relationship with Him. So, as a result of this absorption in the Vidya of Vidyadeshita, completely absorbed in the duality of this world, now they become subjected to all of the fears and all of the worries and all of the anxieties of this world, they, uh, summarized in the word Payam. Payam means fear. The conditioned soul feels very, very fearful. At every moment, death is facing us, although we choose to ignore that fact. But everyone knows that I am going to die very soon or a little bit later. Every single one of us is going to die. So our existence within this world is constantly being threatened by non-existence, by death. And the conditioned soul, he fears this. Why? Because he sees that there is something separate from Krishna. So that illusory condition of fearfulness and vidya, duality, huh? it becomes the opposite condition to his eternal, normal, and natural state in which he is fully absorbed in love for the Supreme Lord. So, how can someone come out from this illusory condition? Here, Kavi Rishi gives the solution to this problem. Anyone can come out of Maya if he is intelligent enough that he will absorb himself in the process of Ekanishta uh, Bhakti, completely one-pointed Bhakti to the lotus feet of Bhagavan. And here he's mentioning in particular here he is explaining that Sri Guru is the divine manifestation of Bhagavan himself in this world. He is called Krishna Kripa Sri Murti. He is the embodiment of the mercy of Bhagavan for all conditioned souls. So when Bhagavan manifests in this world, Saksha Dharitvena, uh, he manifests direct manifestation uh, in the form of Sri Guru. Then that is the most merciful, uh, 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 the most merciful gift coming from the Supreme Lord Himself. Dispensation. So in this way, when the disciple accepts the uh, merciful lotus feet of Sri Guru and takes full shelter there, Guru Pada Ashraya. When he accepts Sri Guru as his Guru Deva Atma, his worshipable deity and his very life and soul. Sri Guru Deva has explained that we in this world are very much attached to our own self. If something dangerous happens around us, immediately we begin to think, how can I save myself? How can I save those who are connected with me? 
We run here and there very quickly. Like last night, everybody began to think, oh, is my car parked in the field? It will get drowned. Oh, I have to move this. Oh, I have to run back home before it floods. So we are very attached to our own self, meaning our Atma. Because why? Because our Atma is the part and parcel of Sri Krishna. It is, we are His eternal, uh, superior potency, as Sri Guru did beautifully explained last night. We are the Parashakti, coming from the Tatsu Shakti of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. We are superior to this illusory Maya. So because our Atma is part and parcel of Krishna, therefore it is very dear to us. But actually Sri Krishna, he is the Atma of our Atma. He is the supreme, dearmost object of love of every Jiva soul. And when he comes in the form of Sri Guru to introduce himself to us within this world of suffering, if we accept him as a direct representative of Bhagavan himself, and we worship him as our worshipable Lord and our very life and soul, just like if we see Sri Guru coming into the room, our immediate feeling within our hearts will be, oh, here is entering my own Atma, my own Self, my dear most Sri Gurudev. So this is called Vishnam Veda Guru Seva. Serving Sri Guru with, with intense affection and love and understanding that he is more near and dear to me than my own self and even anyone connected with myself. And that is called Lokit Sambandhuvat. When we see and feel that Sri Guru is more dear to me than any intimate family member, and we take him deep within our heart and worship his lotus feet and serve his manobhishta, his inner heart's desire, then this process uh, is called Guru Bhaktarika Yesham Guru Devatatma. And that is what Kavi Rishi has prescribed here to follow this process of pure devotion and pure bhakti. It will be the solution to all of our problems, all of our fears, all of our worries within this world, all of our attachments within this world. They'll all be broken and shattered by this divine connection with pure devotion and love for Sri Guru Dev. So that is the recommendation of Kavi Rishi. So he told the root of Bhagavad Bhakti to worship Krishna is Guru Vishnu. Serving him without serving Guru and pleasing without anugatta in the guidance, guidance of Guru Anyone in this whole world, a person like Brahma and Sankar also they cannot have bhakti. So you should know this thing. Without Guru serving, you cannot achieve bhakti. And if no bhakti, no liberation from this world, no Krishna pain, nothing lies in them. So, what is Bhagavad Dharma? Krishna has told you, sir, that is Bhagavad Dharma. We are told. Now, what to do in Bhagavad Dharma? Very easy, nothing so much. Shidman Subhadrani Rakhani Gopani Jalman Karmani Kajani Moke Gita Nyamani Tadak Thakani Gaya Vidajyo Vijaye Dasanga Evan Pratastopiya Nama Pitya Dush Pusto You should explain. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Om Nagyana Timirandhasa, 
बाल घाटी नहीं आए कल किए न्यू वर्ल्ड में फिर इजी नहीं नाउ नेचुरलिटी थर्ड फर्स्ट चैनल वर्ल्ड नेचुरलिटी विच राक्षसी ना फोर्थ को वन हैव यू एनी अदर साइड क्वालिफिकेशन में ये एक्सपेरिमेंट ये रुधिरा वास होना आई कैन ड्रिंक द फर्स्ट ब्लड ऑफ न्यू बेबी जिहान से आप ही हरे व्हाई यू वांट टू टेक जॉब आई वांट टू किल होगी एंड व्हाट एपेंड स्तनम दत्ता को सर्वोत्तम जिहार ब्रेस्टमिल गैंग भगवान की भी माता न्यू डेस्टिनेशन दिस इज क्रिसमस टर्नो एंड ई कॉल सो मेनी ऑसुर आई एम नॉट � Tell us in this world what activities he has done, that karma, we have to decide. And it mentions in scripture we have to do Lilash Maran. Different stage of Lilash Maran. Do you remember Lila? In our stage, we have to pray Bhagavan, oh Prabhu, you give so much good destination to Putana, we are so wretched. She can destroy the master Putana to us. So by this we have to pray. Janmani, Karmani, Chajani, Loke. गीता ने नामानी तदर्थ कानी नकल नहीं जाए गीता ने मिन्स इस डोरिफिकेट दसवां डोरिफाई तू हिम लाइक जस्ट बी अबार्ड बराज जब इसी ने जब उन्हें पुले मंच मना हर सभी तो पुले ना तो जवान नमामि नंदा 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 नमामि नंदा नंदा नम और अगेन एंड बुद्ध तो समय चाहे ना बुद्ध आचार्य स्टोर � Living, walking, or grooming, and cooking, anything you are doing, you have to chant Bhagavan's name, like Govinda Dhamo Dhamo Dhamadhati Govinda Dhamo So, Gita ni Namani And this is Gita. Namani means holy name Like Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Govinda Dhamo Dhamadhati नमन तो रखा नहीं, गायन बिलकुल हैव टू डिसाइड टू आस, वी हैव टू डिसाइड एंड गिव अप आवर साइमेंस, दें यू हैव टू डू दैट, अब कर दे, द नेक्स्ट कॉल्स करें, एवं ब्रदर सब प्रिय नाम लो किस्ता, जाता हूँ लालू, तजित तो उच्चाई, हसत तो थोड़ो दिल दौड़ी, देख तो नमन बदबूत तो कि� Bhagavan has so many names. One is primary name, another secondary name. Which name? Related to creation. Like Jagadish, Jagadhrasta, Vata, Niyanta, all these secondary names. And the primary name is related to Braj. Like Govinda, Damodar, Madhav, Krishna, Mukunda, Madhusudan, Samsunar, all these. Primary name. And all primary or primary is related to Govinda, Sathya, Srimati, Radhika. Like हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधु रगत पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते हर दिवस इस चंदी तो प्राइम तो कृष्ण और यू आर कृष्ण यू कैन एक्सप्रेस एवरी वन एंड गिव प्रेजेंट एवरी वन हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो यू आर वसन मार्ची आई एम सो फॉलन प्लीज बेस्ट योर मार्ची अपन मी दीन बंधो आई एम सो फॉलन and you are afraid of the fallen soul, so please trust your mercy upon me. Dino Bandho Jagat Pate, you are mental about this whole world, I am also entire inside this world, so you have to mental me too. Jagat Pate, go pay sir. Still, before this heart is not fulfilled, he is telling, you are go pay sir. He is of go milk man. Still, he is not satisfied. Go pay ka kanta, you are most beloved of go pay. Still not completely satisfied, then Radha Kanta Namaste. You are Kanta, Radha Beloved, most beloved of Simati Radha Thakurani. So, same way, the name of primary or primary name is related to Simati Radhika. And Radha Kanta, Radha Bhagavad, Radha Mohan, etc. So, even Dr. Sapriya Nama is that, and what? And among these, which we have uh, Adhika, according to our own Adhika, I have to recite that name and I have to gradually, gradually go up and I have to pick up in the final stage. Even Dr. Sapriya Ramakrita, Jata Anu Rado, Dr. Chitta Uchchai, when we advance in Krishna consciousness, gradually, gradually, according to our constitutional form, our honor and affection will increase towards 
some name which is like, this is each and every name related with some pastimes not only like our name. Why his name is Madhav, why Govinda, why Madhusudan, why Samsudan? Each and every name is there is one pastimes. So that if you have a question will increase towards that name. Because it will change. Hasrat Patho, when he would be higher to us, then sometimes he is laughing so much. Why is he laughing? According to his machine, he became crazy or he became mad. Just like Guru Devas giving an example, once you do a Sahipat, doing bhajan, and in his bhajan he saw in trance that gopis are literally picking flowers to make garland for Krishna. But Krishna wants to make some fun. Before Gopi is coming, he climbed up a tree in Kusum Sarovar in Govardhan and by his Vishamba rope, he put down one branch, made it very low. And the tree was desired to Krishna, she was full of flowers. Simati Radhika and other Gopis, they are picking flowers. And Radhika Sarovar went full of flowers, she went on the other side and Gopis all close by. The Radhika is picking flowers, in the meantime, this man took his feet up, then the branch immediately, like spring, go up. And Radhika, oh, I am dying, I am dying, falling from the tree. I fell from the branch. Oh, Radhika, oh, Mr. Kapri, sorry me, catch me, save me. This man immediately come and hold Radhika. Seeing this, Rupa Gosai began to laugh in his hands. So, Asap Kapro rode the key. And sometimes he is weeping bitterly. Why is nobody going to cry? Like Sri Bhakti and Shakun, just, we have heard the Kirtan, Balada Vipini Jamuna Kule, in the Kirtan, Bhangava Rasa Radha Vihane, Bhakti Vinala Pahal Mahara Gane, Bhangava Rasa Radha Vihane. All Guru Balgas, they are, in the consciousness of Pahal, they are Manjali, they are serving Radhika. So when Radhika is separate from Rasdhan, that Rasdhan is broken, that Bhakti Vinala Chakur, being in Sadar Sari, oh, now great danger came, now no more Rasdhan. We can do it in the same way. The devotee is in higher stage. What? When you see all this separation of Radhika, they could not tolerate it. We can do it. Asatvatha Rodhiti, Rodhiti. Sometimes being very bitterly. Like Krishna disappeared, then all came to the bank of Jamuna and they are deciding, go pick it. Yes, I will have to go to the sleep. Jayati, Tehji, Kam, Jamuna, Raja, etc. Then they are lamenting so much very louder. Hazar Pato Rodhiti Rodhiti, Gayatun Mahadho Bhatt Nishtati Logo Pancho. The Krishna is not coming, then they are glorifying his name. Because Krishna told, Naman Krishna Ni Parikunthi Yagi Naam Hida E Na Cha, Mad Bhakta Jatra Gayanti, Tatra Krishna Ni Naradho. So go Krishna will not go deep forest, then Krishna will go more deeper and deeper, it will be called difficult for him. So they are singing what? Tava katha amritam Tata jivanam Kavi bhiritam Kalma sapaham Sabanam naram Simadatatam Bhubi dinanti te Bhuri dajana So they are singing like this. Gayati. How? उन गायती उन माता पर नित्य के लोगों पर जो एक सीन लाइफ एक मैड पर्सन, वो इस जीवाती जाए कि इनको वो इस वेरी गुड पर इधर गुड फॉर्चून, इस उपी लेमेंटिंग रोलिंग ऑन ग्राउंड, क्राइंग आउट पर कृष्णा इस वेरी क्वालिफाइड जीवाती एंड जनरल पर्सन देखो ना अंडरस्टैंड हाउ लोग अब आचार टू फॉरगेट � very rapidly advanced in Krishna consciousness. So, which, in some of the Harvata story in this world, with the word I need to explain, which are hard from Sri Gurudev, different time, if anything good in credit, go to Sri Gurudev, if anything bad, it is my imperfect that I could not catch my party. Hare Krishna. Panchaya Kalvata Rupas Chakita Sindhu Thayi Vacha, Kalvata Rupas Chakita Sindhu Thayi Vacha, Kalvata Rupas Chakita Sindhu Thayi Vacha. This is called Dharma Dharma, especially in Kaliyo, himself Krishna in the form of Satinanda and Gaudan, everywhere 
when with sankirtan now sankirtan we used to be bitterly in kirtan so <coughs> this is bhagavat dharma sankirtan like shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadadhar shri vasadi गौर भक्त बृंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन प्रभु Guidance of Sri Guru and Vaishnavas 
we have an IFC here in Mulambar. Yesterday we were in the showgrounds, now we have come to this wonderful place. How fortunate we are to hear from the Lotus Mouth of Sri Gurudev. Yeah. How to engage in this process of bhakti and pursue our eternal welfare. We are very, very fortunate. <coughs> Shloka Bhakti Parai Sanu Bhavo Viraktir Anyatrata Isha Prika Eka Kala Prapatya Manasriya Dasnirashyus Tushti Pustik Sud Apayo Nukasham Here, Habi, what the Nanya Gangas describes, this is the process, yeah, how we can easily realize whether we are progressing in Bhakti or whether we are stagnating anywhere. He compares the process of bhakti to produce three effects or three results, three areas in which we can measure whether we are really practicing bhakti or not. <coughs> if our aim is to satisfy Sri Krishna we have heard yesterday, today, without taking shelter of proper guidance yeah, under the lotus feet of Sadhguru, we are in illusion. We cannot make any progress. Thus, Sadhguru Prabhakita Yigyasu Shreya Uttama. If we realize what is our deplorable condition, without any good association, even with good association, we are not able to concentrate on the beauty of the process of bhakti. That process of bhakti, it will be experienced, as described here, three things. We will enjoy yeah, practicing devotional service. We will realize our relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And the third effect, or the third result, we will, we will feel detachment from anything which has no relationship with Krishna. Meaning, things which we want for our own sense gratification. And we will not renounce this world. Uh, everything in this world has a relationship with Krishna, but how to properly relate it with Krishna, this comes when we realize what is our relationship with Krishna? And this will only take place when we hear and take complete shelter of the Lord's feet of Sadhguru. These three wonderful qualities, yeah, being fully absorbed in devotional services, realizing one's relationship with Sri Krishna, being detached from anything that has no relationship with Krishna, meaning not having any personal interest for enjoying this material body, mental, subtle and gross. Yeah. This is personified in the personality of Sadhguru. Yeah. How fortunate we are that we have this association. Bhakti yeah, manifests by associating with those who have bhakti. We will get the proper vision and the proper interest in bhakti only when we associate with those who have bhakti. If we make that a habit in our life, there is no doubt bhakti will manifest in our heart. This is the great uh, gift and treasure which is available in this world. By Sadhu Sangha only, can we make progress in our own devotion? Realizing who we really are, what is our relationship with Krishna? And automatically, it doesn't work out. If we practice bhakti and we are still interested in so many things in this world for our own sense gratification, then something is wrong. Then we, again, we should make a plan, be in association of Sadhguru, be in association of advanced devotees, then all these bad things will leave our heart. Yeah. There is no other process. So here it is described, just as someone is absorbed in eating, yeah, you all have that experience, 
when you have the big plate of prasada in front of you, you have so many delicious preparations. Uh, yesterday evening, uh, even it was a courtesy, the day before here, the cooks are doing such a wonderful service. And Sahadev Prabhu and his team, they are preparing very delicious preparations. So it is described that if you have a plate of very wonderful preparations in front of you, and hunger is there, then you have no interest in anything else. Whatever happens around you, you don't see, you're fully absorbed, isn't it? Eating those nice preparations. What happens? We'll feel pleasure in eating. Moreover, yeah, strength will come, nourishment will come to the body. Intelligence is everything, yeah? And we will lose our hunger. Yeah, these three things, they manifest automatically. So for someone who has some attraction to engage in devotional services, yeah, he will see it as a big feast. Yeah. He will see everywhere opportunities how to engage in devotional services. So this is Sadhguru. He is, whatever he comes, he engages everyone. Yeah. Everything which he sees in Krishna's devotional service. Yeah. And we are very fortunate if Gurudev somehow has some interest in us. If he glances towards us and recognizes us and tell us, come on, yeah. Oh Gurudev, I am suffering so much, yeah. Oh, don't worry, I have solution. Are you ready? Yes, Gurudev. <laughs> Do everything for Krishna. If you don't know who is Krishna, no harm. Do everything for me. Do everything for Gurudev. Yeah. If we center our life around Sri Guru, how happy we will become. And how we have no time for anything else. Even if we have so many material desires, no time. Why? Because Gurudev is 10% engaged in the activities of Bhakti. And he will engage everyone who is near him. Yes, 10%. We have no time to do anything else. Always engaged in devotional services. So then, automatically, pleasure comes. Yeah, we are happy. Yeah, like Gurudev is telling. We are traveling the whole world. Why? Why do you travel the whole world? To have a lot of happiness, Gurudev said. I want to have a lot of fun. Yeah? When we traveled, we started traveling in 1996. My experience, I was a dry up you know, a useless fellow, yeah? I didn't know what was happiness. They could have said, we're going to go around the world. And we're going to do four things. Everywhere we go, I want to go to the places where Siddha Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj had put his lotus feet, yeah? And I want to take the dust and smear it upon my head. Why? Yeah? How Guru Dev is honoring Vaishnavas, yeah? I never knew this thing. Then Guru Dev said, wherever we go, whoever is there, all Vaishnavas we will respect properly. And moreover, those who have lost their inspiration, who have become weak, we will go there and encourage them to again become happy and 10% engaged in the Vaishnava activities. And the fourth thing, we will have a lot of fun. Yeah? And I tell you, it's been a wonderful journey so far. Gurudev saw, when Mother Maharaj and Gurudev saw me smiling for the first time, they said, look, he's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> They're very happy. So now, the more we engage yeah, in these activities, staying near those who have this Bhakti Parasana, Parasana, Bhagavad Rakti, we don't have that. Yeah? We are conditioned souls, Badaji. But stay near those who have those wonderful qualities. Something will impact on us. As Gurudev says, if you go near something which is full with oil or tar, if you come near it, again and again something will rub, rub up on your cloth or your skin. Yeah? So this is the only hope for the living entity. To be near those who can give us that thing which we are hankering for for so many lifetimes is this bhakti. How fortunate we are. Yeah. So I want to stop my presentation here and again I hope that we'll all with fixed attention for the coming days we will hear from Sri Guru's Lotus Mouth.
how we can benefit, become happy, realize something of our relationship with Krishna, hear the proper information, some about the Gyan, who we are, who is Krishna, what is this world? We are here just very temporary residents, yeah? refugees always, Gurudev calls it, of this world. And by understanding who we really are, what is our relationship with Krishna, what is the spiritual world, where is our real happiness, very easy we can progress on the path of bhakti. Thank you. In this world, we see a sky, air, water, this earth, so many Grahana Chakra, stars and constellations, and constellations. so many trees, so many persons, so many all things. Everywhere a devotee sees Krishna. If he remembers Krishna, he sees tree, but not tree, inside tree. The Bharat will see you, but not your body. What he will see? Krishna is there. Krishna is there and soul is serving you. Not outwardly anything. Oh, he is Bhagavad. <coughs> we should try to see thyself. Do pranam to all. It's because Krishna is everywhere. Be very sweet, be, do very sweet, be happy at all. Even don't joke so much. That's it. Joke is <coughs> like. So if that person to whom you are joking, he is happy then, he will laugh also. <coughs> so doing pranam to all, especially further he will tell how to deal with Vaishnavas. So if they will do like so, what am I doing to please Krishna and Guru? Then it is very at the time as we get a Mahaprasad. Huh? One bite of Mahaprasad. Mahaprasad or anything. Our stomach gradually becomes to fulfill. Some satisfaction action coming. And now I will let it. And when you will take food, then, oh, I don't want to take anything. Similarly, hmm? when you are doing bhakti, oh, you have realized that I am happy. We realize Krishna, all thoughts will come, gradually prema bhakti will come. And then totally you will, you will be detached from the whole world. No attachment to wealth, reputation, wife, sister, daughter, And then we will Evam Pratashtapanyanamakritya, singing the glories of Krishna and Radhika everywhere, without shame, without attachment. Oh, it is there. <coughs> so, now again, Nemi Maharaj asked, Oh, I'm very happy to hear all these things. Now, I want to know this symptom of these Bhagavad Bhagavad. How they speak, how they walk. What they think, all these things I want to know. Then he began to do. Sar bhute suja pashtat bhagavat nāvat ātmana bhutāni bhagavat tātmaya lesu bhagavat uttama. Dhamadar Mahaskan, you remember very shortly. 
in brief. Three years ago. Guru Vaya Gaura Chandra Radhika Tadale Krishna Krishna Bhakta Tata Bhakta Namo Namaha. First of all, I offer obeisance to Sri Guru Dev, Sri Chitanis, Vaisanyasis, Vaisnavas, Vaisnavis. So many Rajas asking from the Navi Ogendras because we just have the glories of Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha is the only means to achieve liberation from this world, the only means to achieve Krishna. Therefore, Sri Nini Maharaj, please describe the characteristics and the different grades of Vaishnavas. Therefore, the Navi Ogendras, they describe three types of Vaishnavas. First, they describe the Uttam Vaishnav, then the Madhyama Vaishnav, then the Kanishtha Vaishnav. So very quickly, describing the glories of the Uttam Vaishnav. Because if we know first what is Uttam Vaishnav, Gurudev says just like, if we know what is Bhakti, automatically, automatically we know what is not Bhakti. So in the first way, if we can understand who is Uttam Vaishnav, then we can understand what is our own situation, what is the situation of everyone else. There was Sarva Puja Surya, Yat Pasya, Bhagavad Pahavan Atmana, Puntani Bhagavati Atmana, Satesa Bhagavad Uttama. So Bhagavad Pahavan Atmana, the pure Vaishnava called the Uttama Nikari, who is situated on the topmost platform of devotional service, Bhagavad Pahavan Atmana. So I know from Sri Guru that this has, can have several meanings. For example, Bhagavad Pahavan Atmana, like the gopis, when we hear from Sukadev Goswami, the Venukis, then the gopis are saying, Daniel Samamuda, Atiyo, Atiharini, Ita. How fortunate are the deer, they are serving Krishna. How fortunate are the clouds. How fortunate are even the rivers. How fortunate are the birds and bees, even the Palindis, even Govardhan. I see the gopis are millions of times in all of these. But the gopis are seeing their own root, own root is situated in the hearts of all. Bhagavad Bhavan Atmana. Or another meaning is that, like Srila Gurudev said, the Mahabhava everywhere, Sarva Bhutani, Sarva Bhutani Yapasya, Bhagavad Bhavan Atmana. In every living entity, everything I see, there will see one thing. What is that? Sri Krishna. Inside um, Bhutani, Bhagavati Atmana, inside each Atma they see only Bhagavan, and inside Bhagavan they see everything. Therefore, everything related only with Sri Krishna. In Chaitanya Charamriya, it's also mentioned Sarva Jamna Nardeji Taramurti Sarva Tahvelo Dekhtarasam Tarek Ishta Tarasporti. The pure God, when he sees moving and non moving entities, he never sees the external form, only everywhere he sees Shamam Chi Bangalavikam Nedam Prakasham, three fold bending form of Krishna. So that is the vision of the Mahabhagavad. So we're probably thinking, well, I don't have that vision. So we're probably coming in the second grade, if we're lucky. That's the platform of Madhi Madhikari. Madhi Madhikari, they have the symptom, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu described in Shrimad Chaitanya Charamrita. They have very strong faith, but they're not very expert in logic and argument. They may be defeated, but their faith is very, very strong. The pure devotee, because he sees everywhere, everyone is related to Sri Krishna, he sees Sri Krishna and everything, then he never makes discrimination between who is low and who is high. He only sees his worshipful deity everywhere. But the Madhya Madhikari, he cannot act on that platform. And if he tries to act on that platform artificially, they will fall down. Therefore, the symptom that Madhya Madhikari has four types of dealings with persons in this world. Iswari Tata Vinyasu Balasya Sivita Tita Nata Pramayi Kapovicha Yakaroti Samadhi Maha The Madhya Madhikari has four types of dealing. Iswari Tata Vinyasu He has friend towards the Supreme Lord. He has friendly dealings with those who are situated Pramayi Kapovicha He has friendly dealings with those who are on the same platform as him. Those, or, or those who are more exalted than them, they perform seva. And those who are less than them, they give mercy. And those who are envious or otherwise never they cripple picture. They are neglected. So these are the four dealings of a Madhya Madhika. If we can come to the state of Madhya Madhika in this lifetime, then we are very, very fortunate. Sri Gopan said, actually, all fall down comes from the platform of 
might be much younger because Kanish Tadaka is already somewhat in a fallen state. So if we haven't come in the second category, then we're probably looking towards the third category, that is the platform of Kanista. It's easy to remember, like this is called Kanista, the small finger. They are situated on the lowest platform of devotional service, but those persons are also very fortunate. Krishna said, that devotee who has great faith in the worship of the deity, is not day and night, they can ding their bells and offer arti, they have so much faith in the worship of the deity, but not that Bhaktasu Chanesu. They cannot understand the importance of Vaishnava, nor can they discriminate between the different grades of devotees, not Chanesu, and they cannot deal nicely even with the ordinary persons. Therefore they have great faith in Bhagavan, but they cannot respect the Vaishnava, they cannot respect ordinary persons. So these are the three types of devotees. And after Shikari Rishi, if I'm not mistaken, he describes maybe 10, 15 verses again, this stage of the Mahabharata, in whose heart even the sprout of desire for enjoyment in this material world now, never comes. Nātāma karma nā He never has even a sprout of desire for karma or performance of self-seeking material enjoyment. They even have sin, never even appears in their mind. That person was always equanimous in all stages, he is never disturbed. That is the Mahabharata. So therefore, to understand who is that Guru who should be Devatmana, who should be Ishadevala Atma, the Navarangamis have described maybe 15 verses describing their characteristics quite clearly. So if we're lucky, we should always, some people think we should not discriminate between different types of Vaishnavas, but Rupa Goswami says you must discriminate. If you cannot discriminate, you will fall down. Otherwise, you'll make the horrendous mistake of choosing a low class devotee as a Mahabharata, and you'll make, or you'll make a horrendous mistake of thinking that a Mahabharata is on the lowest platform of devotional service, then you're criticizing. So either way, your bhakti will be completely destroyed. Go Brahman. Okay. Now, in a simple way, if anyone, even one time, he has taken the name of Krishna, Govinda, Ram, any name. You should know him, Vaishnava, Kanishtha. Those who are taking always Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, day and night, they are Madhyam Bhagavan. And to whom we see and inspired to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, by seeing Oh, he is Uttam Bhagavata. No? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said. Also, he has told <coughs> that those who only do Achan, they don't give honor to Vaishnavas. They don't recognize who is Madhyam, who is Uttam, who is Vaishnava. But he is a word of Mayabha. No, not Mayabha. Oh, we should consider him as a Vaishnava. And we should do pranam by mind, mind not by body. body. <laughs> really, those who have taken diksha and they know something tattva, but not perfect. But their bhakti sattva is very, very strong. It's strong. You should know Madhya Madhikari. And those who have given up to criticize anyone, nothing to criticize, totally detached from this world, always thinking, always meditating the sweet pastimes of Krishna. Oh, you should know he is we should serve him by our whole life. Then this is the Bhagavad Dharma. Also, <coughs> if like so many calamity and sufferings are coming, but oh, he don't disturb. disturb. 
पालन करने वाले तो मेंटेनर मेंटेनर एंड तो टू प्रोटेक्ट प्रोटेक्ट रियली दे कैन एट प्रोटेक्ट एंड रियली दिज आर नॉट वाइफ्स अवर वाइफ दिज आर सोल ऑल मेक सर्वेंट एंड सर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्णा डोंट थिंक माइंड बट डू प्रणाम टू ऑल Knowing that all are made servant of Krishna, so this is Maya. We see all these things in this world, but they are—they are not immortal. They are all mortal. They are due to Maya. Oh, so many species of life we see, all kinds of trees, creepers. Man, demigods, all. Oh, it is created by Maya. So you know, so Maya. Only by he is telling how a man can get rid of this Maya. Get rid of this Maya. Kasmat Guru Pratapati. First, you should know. Karani Aro Mara Ram Dukhatay Sukhaya Cha. तस्से पाप विपज्जासम मितुनी चारिना फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग ऑफ क्रिएशन वी वांट टू बी हैप्पी व्हाट एवर वी डू टू गेट रीड ऑफ सफरिंग्स एंड टू बी हैप्पी बट एनीवन फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द क्रिएशन नो वन इज हैप्पी बल्ली भक्त सा हैप्पी बिसाइड्स देम No one is happy. Oh, now you know, science has so much advanced. advanced. Computer science has come. We can see cricket here, which is going on in Australia, anywhere else. Somewhere, oh, President of America is speaking. You can see, and what he is speaking, you can see. Whole world has come in a. But anyone is not. Medical science has so much improved. If your brain brain is, so they will take your brain and keep the brain of monkey here also. <laughs> If your heart, then any other heart they will add. <laughs> But even no one is happy. How can they be happy? Oh, then he did. Mitya today in a big tena. Oh, you you are whole life collecting money. Why? Will you take that money? Will take a single pice with you at the time of death? Death? Nothing. नित्या किधे न बिकते ना इट सो मच वेल्थ इज देयर और सो मेनी एनिमी विल कम टू टेक योर मनी योर रिलेटिव विल एनी हाउ विल टेक योर मनी ऑल विल टेक योर मनी एंड इफ दैट मनी इज देयर देन इफ यू आर इन लिव इंडिया वेरी सोन दे विल सूट यू एंड टेक योर मनी And if no money, even unhappy. So, collecting good houses, good cars, good all these things by that money, oh, they will not make you happy. Only tasmad guru, tapadde jigyasu seyamutram. If you want to be happy. So you must do bhakti, and bhakti will come from a realized soul who can remove you all doubt. He is practicing bhakti yoga. He has some realization of Krishna, and he detached from what he did. Serve him, please him, and then 
we will tell you the process of bhakti. Raji bhakti first he will tell, and after that Raghavanga bhakti, and then more he will tell. And thus, by practicing bhakti yoga, you will be liberated from this world, and you will have Krishna prem. Your life will be successful. Gaur prema nande. So, our class is going on very nicely. As you know, at first our class was in program. After that, too much arranged. So, you have to bound to go in Sena Hall. After that, they rented here. So, you know, first setting one place, you can't handle place, how difficult. Last night, you want to work up to 1 a.m. So to set a big festival is not less very expensive from a one to another place. So now the number one request is something. Listen carefully. Can I call a question, everyone? Mumbai is a very special place. We take you to a different spot every night. <laughs> Done. Um, where, will we to, where will we be tomorrow? Oh, we're not sure. We haven't decided. <laughs> We'll let the demigods work that out for us. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank deeply all of the devotees who last night stayed up until past midnight in the pouring rain, covered in mud, uh, gathering all of Gurudev's paraphernalia from the showgrounds and taking it to Mahaprabhu's uh, cinema. Uh, and uh, Mahaprabhu and Janavi Diddy, special thanks to you. You've, you've gone above and beyond the call of duty, helping the whole community. I'm sure the Srila Gurudev's blessings will be showered upon you. Also today, so many devotees gathered together after Sri Padmada Maharaj's class in the morning. Uh, our beloved Indian godbrothers from Brisbane supplied us prasad for breakfast, which we were so thankful for. And all day the devotees have been working very hard. The ladies have been here decorating the hall very beautifully. Gorgeous. The other son and altars here. Who could, who could possibly do this in a few hours? And today, uh, many, many of the uh, men were busy taking our kitchen 15 kilometers out into the mountains uh, by the mercy of Brother uh, Balapu and his family. They've enabled us to uh, set up a kitchen in their shed. And uh, Prashad has been cooked for you today and will be um, offered and uh, distributed this, this evening and for the next few days. So to all those devotees that help for that, thank you very much. And just shortly, I'd like to remind all of you that, as Shripad Mahaprabhu has just mentioned, uh, all of this costs a lot of money. Uh, I won't mention details, it's, it's not really appropriate, but I will say to all that we're begging your mercy, um, to please uh, contribute as much as you can for your stay here. Um, all of the facilities here are being supplied for you. Uh, Srila Gurudev and all the wonderful Vaishnavas and Sanyasis have come here to um, help us to get Hari Guitar, to listen to Hari Guitar, and to try and inspire us. Uh, and uh, if we can contribute something towards the uh, upkeep of this festival over the next few days, then uh, that would be very helpful and also very inspiring for all the devotees that have worked so hard. Uh, Malati Devi, standing in the back in the white with her hand up and the big smile on her face. She is so eager to accept your kind donations uh, to continue the festival. So please don't be shy. And if you have any complaints about how things have gone, um, please get them to yourself because we don't have a complaint box. If you have uh, anything good to say, please tell me through the crew day. Um, tomorrow morning, Sri Padmagra Maharaj will again give um, morning class here on the biography of Sri Lakura Day, 7.30 in the morning. Um, and Jai Sri Lakura Day, Jai! Sri Lakura Day, Jai! Uh, tomorrow morning we will further let you know exactly what our times are for Prashadamar because there's a lot of 
uh, very difficult logistics involved. Now I'll hand you over to Shrikhar Bhagavad Maharaj. Uh, the hall opens here at 7 o'clock in the morning. There will be a security guard here to open the doors for us, so someone must be here by 7. And this evening, oh yeah, this evening we have to be out by 10 o'clock, and the guards will come and lock the doors on us. So all the devotees, after you've taken your pashad, and again, back to something else I forgot, um, this is Mogulba's main prestigious uh, greeting hall here, or uh, uh, function hall. Please be very careful when you're taking the shard and want to lay mats down and protect the carpet. And when you finish taking the shard, please ensure that you stay around and help the devotees to clean up and uh, to represent our Srila Gurudev as a very proper uh, um, uh, association. Anybody who is struggling for accommodation, can't find tents or houses or, or whatever, uh, please make your way to the cinema and talk to uh, Mana Prabhu. Um, th there will be some discrimination. Uh, we're, not, we're not accepting just everybody off the street. We're talking about uh, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis who have come to hear uh, Shirley Gurudev's Hari Guitar. But please see Mana Prabhu with the glasses on the head. Uh, at the cinema, which is down on the corner opposite Coles, the Vagabond corner from Coles, on the corner of the main street of Mawalama. Yay, very well. Just one last announcement. Uh, tomorrow morning, there is going to be the opportunity for devotees to receive initiation from Srila Gurudev at 9.30 at the house where he is staying. And the devotees who want to receive initiation they have to have a recommendation from any senior devotee and they should come there uh, before 9.30, they should come by 9 o'clock with some flowers, fruits, offerings, uh, men should shave their heads and also they should have some Lakshmi offering for Srila Gurudev. So great opportunity to receive the ultimate benediction of life, connection with the Sadhguru. Guru. Shri Gurudev!